Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to find the cofactor of a matrix. But we are going to center the discussion based on 2x2 matrix and 3x3 matrix. So if you are new here consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content and don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. Now let's start with 2x2 matrix. But before we start I want to let you know about two things. Number one you can only find the cofactor of a square matrix. Number two, you should know that each, every single element in that matrix has its own cofactor. So let's begin. Suppose we have a matrix A that has these entries. We have two, minus three, one, and four. Remember I told you each element in this matrix has its own cofactor. So we are going to find the cofactor of each individual element here. So let, let's start. Let us find an individual uh, cofactor in this element. We have the co cofactors. We have first row, first column element is donated by A11. We have a12 for this one, that is the first row, second column element. We have A21, second row, first column, which is this one. And lastly, we have A22, that is the second row, second column element. Okay, we're going to find their corresponding cofactors, then we replace them back. I told you we are going to take negative one raised to the power of the sum of the column and the row of that element. You can see this first row, first column element, we have one and one. So you add one and one together, you obtain two. Then you multiply by the minus. How do we obtain the minus? We are going to delete the row and the column of that element. You can see this is the element we have. You delete this row, you delete this column, we are left with only four. Then we multiply by four, if we simplify, we are going to obtain the cofactor of that element, which is A11. Moving on here, we have negative 1 raised to the power of 1 plus 2, which is 3, multiplied by the minus, and that minus is going to be obtained by deleting the row and column of that element. A12 is this element. We close this, uh, we close this column, we close this row, and we have negative 3. Multiply by negative 3. Moving on, we have A21. That is the second row, first column element, which is this. But we have to multiply by negative 1 raised to the power of 2 plus 1, which is the same thing as 3. Then multiply by, you delete this, you delete that one, you are left with only one here. Moving on to the last one, we have second row, second column element, which is this one. We take negative 1, raise it to the power of 2 plus 2 is 4. Then multiply by the minus, and how do we obtain the minus as well? You close this column, you close this row, you are left with two. So now let us simplify and obtain our corresponding cofactors. For this one, you know when the power is even, it is going to transform the negative sign to positive. So because of this is even, this negative one becomes positive one. Positive one times four is four. This is an odd power, so the negative sign will remain negative. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. This is also an odd power, so this will remain negative. Negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. And lastly, this is an even power. This becomes positive 1 times 2 is still positive 2. So now we are going to substitute them back into their corresponding positions. All right, the cofactors of this matrix A will now be equal to uh, the cofactor of A11 is four. You know A11 is the first row, first column element, which is now four. First row, second column, this is the same first row, then second column is three. Second row, first column is negative one. Second row, second column is positive two. 
So now you can see the matrix is entirely different, just that they must have the same dimension. This is two by two, even the cofactor will remain two by two, but elements are not exactly the same. So this is how to find the cofactor of two by two matrix. Now let us look on to how to find the cofactor of three by three matrix. So first we have a matrix A, again let me use A, three by three, we have one, negative two, zero, we have maybe two, three, four, maybe minus two, two and one. You can see this is three by three matrix. It has three rows and three columns. Again, if you observe something, this is A11, one, one. one plus one is even. This is A12, one, one plus two is odd. A13, one, one plus three is even. So once that element is under an even position, it is going to be multiplied by positive one. Once that element is under an odd position, it is going to be multiplied by negative one. So we can develop something in this form. So this matrix, uh, to find the cofactor of these entries, the first element here will be positive, will be multiplied by positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So instead of multiplying each minor by negative one to the power of the sum of the row and column of that entry, we can admit this. Okay, now the cofactors, we are going to find the cofactors of each of these elements. We have A11, we have A12, we have A13. This is A13. We have A21, we have A22, we have A23, then lastly we have A31, A32, and A33. Okay, for this one, you can see this one is positive, so we have positive. We close this column and this row, but we are left with four elements. Instead of one, you know, in two by two, we are left with one. But since we are left with four elements, we are going to find the determinant of these four elements. So we are going to find the determinant of this four element for A11, which is going to be three multiplied by one is three, the minus four multiplied by two, which is eight, and we are going to obtain negative five. So this becomes negative five. A12, this is A12, let me take this down. For A12, we are going to delete this and this, we are left with one, two, three, four. As well, we are going to find their determinants. Negative two multiplied by one is still negative two, then we subtract, we have zero, multiplied by two is still zero, and this is negative two. All right, remember, this is A12, A12 is already negative, but multiplied by negative two. Okay, moving on to A13. This is A13 is positive. A13, we close this, we close that. This is the only four elements we have. This time this is negative eight, this time this is zero. Negative eight minus zero is still negative eight. So this is negative eight. A21, A21, that is the second row first column. You see it is negative. So we have negative multiplied by the minor we close this, we close that, we have this, 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 and this. 
So to find the determinant of this, we take two multiplied by one is two minus. Four multiplied by negative two is negative eight. Negative eight, negative, negative is positive. So we have 10. So this is 10. A22, this is A22. We close this column, we close this row, we have this, 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 and this. Find their determinant, we have one times one is one, minus zero times negative two is zero, so we have one here. But what do we have here? A22, um, this is A22 is positive, multiply by one. Okay, moving on, we have A23, this is a23 under this two. We close the whole of this and this, this is what we have left. But this is negative, you can see it corresponds to negative. So we have negative sign before finding determinant. Determinant is going to be one times four is four, zero times two is zero, so four minus zero is still four. So we have minus four. A31 is positive, you can see it here. So we have positive. A31, you close this, you close that. This is what we have left. You find their determinant two times two is four minus three times negative two is negative six. We have negative six. Negative, negative, positive, this is equal to 10. So what we have here is 10. Moving on, we have A32. A32 is negative, so we have a negative sign. We multiply by the minor. The minor for that A32, this is A32. You close this, you close that, you have this, 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 and this left. Determinant, one times two is two minus. Negative two multiplied by negative two is positive four. So we have positive four and this is equal to negative two. So we have negative two here. The last but not the least is going to be positive. A33, this is A33, you can see it is positive there. You close this, you close that, you have this, 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 this left. You find the determinant, one times three is three minus negative two times positive two is negative four. Negative, negative is positive. This is equal to seven and we have seven here. Okay, now we're going to simplify this and plug them back in here. So I can take this down. Therefore the cofactor of this matrix A will be equal to we start with A11, positive, negative is negative, so we have negative five here. A12, negative, negative is positive, so we have two here. A13, positive, negative is negative, so we have negative eight. A1, A21, we have negative 10, negative 10. Um, A22, we have positive one because this is positive. Moving on to A23, we have negative four here. A31, we have positive 10. This is negative, this is negative positive. We have two and lastly we have seven. So this is exactly the cofactor of this matrix A. And this is exactly how to find the cofactor in traditional way. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.